Hello, everybody. Okay. We're back today to do a video on Dyson vacuum cleaners. I'm going to talk you uh, through on uh, how to replace the bearings on a brush bar on a DC uh, vacuum cleaner, as in Dyson DC 07, DC 14 and DC 33. But we're going to start today with the DC 07 and 14 as the brush bearings on a 33 are pretty much the same procedure to be fair there isn't a lot of difference it's the same 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 thing just the smaller bearings um, <clears throat> they also do that on the uh, 07s and the 14s but the 33 is only got the clutch uh, on off control which is for hard floors so you can physically turn off the clutch sorry you can physically turn off the brush bar on the 33s you can either have it on auto or you can have it on manual so if it's on auto you stand it up and it will switch brush bar off but you'll still get suction uh, if you tilt the thing forward brush bar will come on or you can physically switch brush bar off altogether and uh, you can tilt it backwards and forwards and it will uh, it won't rotate the brush bar it's to stop you scratching the floors but today we're going to talk about the non-clutch version uh, which is the common one I see where people uh, send them to me or bring them to me because they are burnt the bout out it snapped because there is no clutch and it will just carry on if the jam in it appears in the rollers it will just burn the belt unless you switch the cleaner off so this is the uh this has come out of a dc 07 cleaner um and i'm going to replace brush bearings today now the physical bearings look like this you got one each side of your brush bar and these ones are pretty shot well, that one isn't but this one is um, jammed I can feel it jamming as it's going around where the other one is seems to be fine but to be fair replace them as a pair um, because if you don't and you just replace the one that's faulty it's bound the other one's gonna happen the problem is the tension will change either end and that's what's happened on this brush bar is one's good one isn't so there's more tension one end it's harder to go round than the other end and it's caused damage to this brush bar which means it can't be used again really because look at the state of that that this part here is where the belt goes round and if you look at the surface of that it's just burnt it's got hot basically it's plastic so it's got hot so to fit another belt onto there, um, you're just going to, people do it, but you're just going to cause a problem for yourself. Because your belt won't last long, because there's sharp edges on there where it's got hot. I mean, it should look like this. And it should look nice. And if you look at this one, it's absolutely mullered. So this is the good one. This is the, the duff one. I've already removed the bearings from this one. I'm going to remove them. Going to also replace them on this one. So, yeah, that's pretty much needs to be replaced altogether. Because what's happened is one bearing seized one end, the other bearing hasn't, and uh, it's caused the belt to spin round on the plastic and. Uh, the outcome is the fact is that now there is no nice bevel there it's all it's all burnt and mounted and there's jagged edges on it so you're better to throw it away and buy a new one um, but I ain't gonna buy a new one because I have plenty of second-hand cleaners that I use as donor parts so I'm gonna use this one as it as, as it's good I've already cleaned it 
I'm just going to remove the bearings now. The bearings sit in the ends of the roller. You've got one each end. Um, to get these out, I'm going to take you down. To get these out, yeah, they're not too difficult to get out. I normally just give it a little bit from side to side twist just to loosen them up. And the same with this one. And then I put the bar down into the roller, but I sort of deliberately, deliberately course it to go off center so it doesn't, so I can use this as a, to knock out the bear in the other end. Like that. That's now. So I just basically, basically, just basically put 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 the bar in, but make it go to the edge rather than through the centre, and then just push it out. Which means you can then do the same the other end. As I say. So that's now both bearings have been removed. Obviously, before you fit your new bearings, it's always a good idea to give this a clean. Also, make sure that you get all the dirt out that goes in the ends, because it does happen. And also clean the, the ends of the uh, brush bar. The caps that sit either end that runs through the bar, give, give that one a clean along with the the other one which obviously I've already done so making sure that you dry everything back out before you fit any bearings in of course I wash this with the faulty bearings in so I've taken them out because I've done that, there's a little bit of water in, in the actual middle of the bar of the brush bar, but it's it's pretty big opening on this version. The the one with the clutch is a little bit more harder to, to, to do, so try and avoid getting any water inside if you can, but it's not a big deal. Um if you do, especially with this one, because you can just dry it out like that. So this is completely dry now, ready for the bearings to be installed. So I just need to get the bearings. You can buy these quite quite easily. Uh, eBay, before I get mine. Uh, I buy mine in bulk, so obviously it's cheaper to do that because I repair so many of these cleaners it's, it's handy to have them so that's what the bearings look like it comes in a packet and in theory they're just push fit they're not they're not hard to fit you don't have to be use any heavy duty tools to do it um, there's a little I don't think you can see it but there's actually a, a little nick, notch, so you can't go in too far, it will stop on the lip. And that's the same both ends, there's one each end. So the bearing, you can't physically put them in um, and push them in too far. So, you know, in theory, you need to make sure they're in properly. So that stop is where you stop. Um, so... Saying that, and not all straightforward. Sometimes they will that's got that one started. 
again, just push them until until they stop. Uh, that one's now in. And same for the other end. As I say, these are, these are only a couple of pound on eBay. Um, well worth changing if you have any any sort of problems with this really if you're getting belts snapping all the time and you're not actually snagging anything could be bearings that are causing the problem as i say it's so like i say it's really straightforward they're in both ends. Um, it's all been cleaned up, ready to go back into the cleaner. And it's just a matter now of putting this back in. So once you fitted the bearings, I mean, I wouldn't add any grease in there. They're already pre-greased. They've got plastic caps on either end of the bearing but I wouldn't go putting any more in there because you're just going to attract dust and dirt to stick to it which of course it to clog up in there because that's another problem people don't clean these regular and uh, they, they block up with, with dirt which again is can cause belts to snap because it restricts things moving if the dirt gets in there all the hairs get caught in there so just reinsert the bar back through once you replace the bearing. So that's one end. That's the other end. And then just put the bar back in, making sure that you go through the center of the one the other end. And these caps just push on. So there's no, because once this is in the cleaner, it sits in the machine. And there's two notches either end that lock into the frame so they can't physically come off again. Um, and it should turn nice and freely. Um, no sort of jaggedness. If you, you know, you take yours off and it feels as you're turning it, you can feel there's grinding. It's probably bearing's gone. So it's, it's worth doing this. If you're a heavy user of your cleaner, I'd do it every, maybe once a year and try and keep the brush bar clean because that's the biggest thing that causes these cleaners to, to fail is people just not keeping them clean. Uh, it's not a, a, a nice job to do, to be honest, cleaning these because hair just sticks to all of these brushes and then it mats into the brushes. I mean, this was riddled. You know, the hair was was extruding outside. It was like, it couldn't actually turn because of the amount of hair on there, which was catching the body of the cleaner. So there you go. That's how you change the brush bearings on a DC-07 non-clutched version. The, uh, the clutch version is pretty much the same procedure. It's just that the bearings is a different brush bar. Um, the bearings are smaller. But the actual procedure of changing them is the same once you've removed this from the cleaner um, yeah so there you go like I say it's worth if you get naughty you know you you, you 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 switch your cleaner on and it sounds noisy another reason to be changing them um, but if you're gonna change them go to the effort of cleaning the brush bar back up again getting all the dirt out of the end caps, any hair that's in the end caps out and make it nice again, you know, and you, the machine will look after you. So I hope you liked, if you like, please uh, subscribe and like the video. Um, and I'll be back again with the next one um, soon. I uh, hope it helps. Thank you very much for your time and uh, enjoy.
the rest of your day.